This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and didn't think I was going to do a video about this but I decided to go ahead and talk a little bit about Death Stranding, give my um, quick thoughts on the new trailer that revealed a release date. Um, all the jokes that people made about this game not coming out until 2023 or whenever, um, quite wrong because this game is coming out in 2019, this year. November 8th, 2019 is when we're going to get Death Stranding, um, so all the Kojima fans are, like, having just, like, I fear for some of them because I feel like it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> such an emotional moment for them that they're, like, just the anticipation probably has them in tears, um, and just totally overjoyed and really really excited that they can't contain themselves um which you know if you're a really big fan of something it's totally understandable uh, me personally i don't understand the kojima hype but i'll talk about the not understanding thing in a separate video um just going over what i see um okay game looks good uh the decima engine it looks fantastic um, they've done a great job graphically. Um, some of the gameplay that they showed, it looks sort of interesting. Uh, the gunplay looked a little wonky, but I've always maintained that, uh, gunplay in some of his games aren't that great. Like, and this is coming from someone who's only touched maybe a couple of demos, um, in one quote-unquote full game. I say quote-unquote because it was the, uh prequel to Metal Gear Solid 5. I always forget the name of what they what they gave the name that they gave it. Um but I played some of that and I played some demos. You know, played uh Metal Gear Solid 1. You know, and like I said, it's never been the most solid solid of solid gunplay that I've ever touched. But, you know, it's fair enough. Um that being said, um, you know, it's funny looking at this trailer, you didn't really get a sense of what this story exactly was about. You kind of got clues about there's something going on. Um, Earth is in a bad state and it looks like it's up to you to find out what it is. Now they went into more depth on the website, which um, a lot of us probably didn't think about checking. Um, but it was announced that they put a lot of information on the website. I will put the link in the description. And it's not a whole lot, but it's clear enough to understand the story. I'll read it for you really quick. In the near future, mysterious explosions have rocked the planet, setting off a series of supernatural events known as the Death Stranding. With spectral creatures plaguing the landscape and the planet on the verge of a mass extinction, it's up to Sam Bridges to journey across the ravaged wasteland and save mankind from impending annihilation. So, you know, a big catastrophic event happens. It opens up some type of rift or whatever. I don't know how they're gonna um, explain it, but a connection to a supernatural side has opened and these creatures are coming through and wreaking havoc on the planet. And you're working to figure out what can be done in order to save the earth um, uh, the trailer did kind of give a hint as to like the baby element like they called it a bridge baby um, assumptions would be that this company that they kept showing a logo for bridges is where who you're working for and this has to do with some type of technology of science that they've developed um, they talked about um, how there's a rogue fashion faction out there that's doing um, up to no good, basically. And, you know, you have to watch out for them as well as these creatures. Uh, they showed some of the gameplay. Um, a lot more action-oriented than um, it actually 
was thought to be. I know a lot of people figured since this guy just did Metal Gear games for the most part for a long time, it was going to be a stealth based um, game. Um, no, it's not. You do have to sneak around to try to escape certain things, but it's not a pure stealth combat game. Um, he introduced you to some of the characters, he gave you their names and whatnot. Uh, you know, and you got some dialogue, uh, you know, typical Hollywood movie dialogue where, he, hey, this guy is a fan of movies, but it's typical movie dialogue where you get these, like, really, like, dramatically dropped, like, quote-unquote, heavy lines from people, and, you know, <laughs> okay, you know, it sets the stage or the mood for the, um, game, uh, has this changed my feelings towards the game? No, um, it hasn't like hit a nerve to where I'm like just extremely excited or extremely interested in finding out more. Like I'm curious, but I'm not really that curious, which, you know, that's fine. Um, of course, like I said, Kojima fans seem to think that this is a masterpiece in the making. Um, that remains to be seen, but it looks cool. Um, like I said, great visually. Um, interesting enough premise for the story, but nothing, I would say, groundbreaking. Uh, at least for me. Nothing, like, totally groundbreaking or compelling. Uh, we've had Save the World stories like this before. But, that doesn't mean this game's not going to be good. Um, because a lot of stories generally share the same tropes of eyes but you know I've been told his games are amazing they're like great store pieces of storytelling and whatnot so we'll see hopefully this is everything that Kojima fans want and hope it to be you know anyway as always you guys feel free to hit me up let me know what you think and I'll haunt you later it's your boy Black Makers in the Mile deuces <laughs>